Guys, back again with the the old rust Tahoe. Got the uh, diesel heater running in there. As you can see, it's been snowing pretty good. Got quite a good buildup, but it's not really snow. It's like ice. If you look close. It's just like ice on everything. It's rain, snow mix, but I'm completely melted. Sunroof. I haven't driven this today. Um, I did go out early this morning but yeah as you can see just been black ice and everywhere but yeah let's get to the main point of the video um we can hear it too it's kind of like icy rain snow mix so i just shut the heater off i cycled it down you can see it's 66 degrees I can turn that on and what I'm trying to show you is I can actually right now I don't have the battery in here so I never permanently wired this because this is an experiment but my friend asked a good question my buddy Tyler was like well why don't you why don't they have a kit where you can run it at your house and I was like yeah they that's a good idea Tyler because there's a lot of guys that could use these to heat their garages or you know a small house bedroom whatever but you need to have plug-in shore power or power this is what you do it with this will run this heater indefinitely I just shut it off because I'm uh, actually going somewhere so I get to unplug it but um, yeah so this has a dial control it's from 0 to 48 volts can do up to 480 watts and uh, yeah, I just set it at 13.5 Damn, this thing shows a little bit of a voltage drop, but who cares? It runs perfectly. You run this forever. And I do have a battery that I run off. I just got these two clips that I wired up. These power supply clips so I can clip to the battery terminals. And then I have these quick connect battery terminals as a recharging platform for when I drive. I'm gonna get a battery disconnect. I just don't have the money right now. So for now, we'll just run that. But I had ran into a few issues and just accidentally my buddy bringing that up made me think of this. So might as well run off house power when I'm here. So it's, you know, I'm just not drawing any battery. So whatever it's at home. And uh, it's not inconvenient at all because this is a wind up cord. And I can get her done. But yeah, until next time, I just thought I'd give you a little update about these diesel heaters. If you wanted to run one in your garage, or like a, in a bedroom in a house or whatever you got that option you can get these for about this one right here that 480 watt 48 volt i think that sent me back like 30 or 40 dollars i actually have two of those because in a different video i ran a trolling motor off of a generator on these and they work so big fan these things are super durable they're normally sold i think they're meant for like led arrays but if you type in uh uh, 48 volt DC to 110 converter or whatever 110 to 48 volt DC converter or power supply you'll come up with something that looks like this it's got an orange dial it came with actually a remote dial and some other stuff but it has a little display there that's the one you want that's the volt it's controllable so it's like those old train transformers things super useful around the house I've used it for all manner of projects but it worked for this one so good deals hey, temperatures dropping better get going guys back again a little later the old Tahoe snowing like Jesus now you can see oh maybe you can't see it's not focusing Focus you fuck. Well, most of the cars are getting coated with snow. Come over here. Truck's got a little snow on it. It's still clear out the sunroof, but come over here. This is an example of a vehicle that's been sitting decent amount of snow but we ain't got much snow 
Yeah, the engineering. I still have to do the project where um, I'm going to uh, drill a hole down in my passenger footwell and uh, have a little one watt like squirrel cage fan. It's made for my 3D printer. I'm gonna blow excess air under my hood. See if it melts some of the snow. I think it will. It's working pretty good here. So I set the heater on max. We got this bitch 34 degrees. It's like over 90. It's just because I want to um, really melt the snow. But this thermometer still says 62.6. But it takes forever for this thing to this thermometer to register changes in temperature. I can definitely tell it was like. Oh, it's probably 70 in there, 75. So we'll just wait, come back later and see how warm it is. But it's definitely keeping this truck warm, melting the snow. Compared to everybody else, like that car there is completely coated in snow. That car is completely coated in snow. So, and I mean, it's really coming down now. So we'll get a pretty good test here. And uh, yeah. And we're all plugged into the house current. I got the battery charging for tomorrow.